Hi, it's Richard at Richard's Guitars, and today I've got an incredibly special video to bring you. Um, sometimes things happen which are just immensely exciting, and last year I did a video with John who had been to uh, a workshop in Slovakia uh, where they make uh, Dovina guitars. The story is quite long and lengthy and there's a video and you can watch that video and uh, get a bit of a background behind it so um, we'll, we'll get, I'll put a link to the, to the previous video. Um, the re in a nutshell we are talking about handmade guitars in a very small workshop um, headed by a man called Stan uh, who has very close working uh, relationship and personal relationship obviously with his daughter Erica and they have both just been immensely supportive of every aspect of literally it's like a kind of dream where in a perfect world if you could if you're in my situation and you're looking for quality products to show people quality guitars to show people you dream of situations like this where you have a guitar builder with this incredible, I mean, his, his joy for his work, his passion for what he does, his desire to go around the world seeking the woods that he uses, it's, it is quite extraordinary. And the fact he wants to share that passion with a guy that he didn't even know, I mean, he doesn't know me now, but the fact that he, he clearly is just one of these people, and maybe we're similar in that vein, that we, we sort of explode with our passion and we want to kind of like tell the world about what we do uh, and he, he seems so much like that that um, just an extraordinary extraordinary man lengthy emails uh, telling me about what he's up to what woods he's picking and why so many videos I could do just on that and he's already educated me in such a broad way uh, in terms of my knowledge of guitars and woods to be used and all sorts of back behind the scenes so I feel very nervous about even presenting his guitars to you because I feel I just want to do him justice. I want to do his name justice. Uh, I want to get him on the map. I want, to, I want people to be aware of just how unbelievable these guitars are. And so proof is in the pudding. So I, I literally don't know where to start, but I thought the most sensible place to start, I've got a customer that's bought um, one of these guitars and um, he'd like to know the difference, the sound difference between the spruce and the cedar. I've got two models here. And um, so I thought, right, we'll bring the two together somehow and I will be able to tell you about Dovina, introduce the Dovina brand and uh, show you a great starting point because we'll start with the spruce. This model is called the Pomona and uh, or the Pomona. Pomona. The price is six nine nine. Okay, so this is where we just have to kind of get our head straight and work out in this world we live in. What do you get for six nine nine? Well, what you now get is a European handmade guitar with woods that have been selected for their tonal properties. And every aspect of this guitar is just immense and it's flawless. I mean, it's, it's utterly beautiful in its simplicity because this is the most simple model they make. So let's just start by showing you a bit of the, so what we have here is the, um, we, um, these are cut out wooden inlays. So these are genuine, these are genuine wooden inlays. Okay, so that is a genuine wooden inlay. Uh, beautiful, uh, but by that uh, level bridge kind of see that these days um, nice little binding look at that and remember this is the cheapest one they do um, I'm not sure it's sapili it's stripey so it could be sapili wood rather than mahogany uh, obviously sapili is a form of mahogany from the mahogany family um, the beautiful which we get used to seeing on the on the sort of you know paying extra on a Loudon for this sort of thing uh, the the extended so what you call this is the extended 
it, uh, with Loudon guitars, for example, you'd pay for this as a feature where you have the, the this going over the sound hole and cut out and so this is this is like an add-on pay pay extra uh on a Loudon guitar for example this is but this is on their box standard basic model um ebony board and the beautiful Dovina uh headstock and logo so it, the neck has got this beautiful i was commenting the other night on the ordens and again you've got this same kind of very, very natural, very organic feeling neck, which I absolutely love. Little Dovina logo. So, so every single detail is, is just mm. immense. Just an absolutely beautiful guitar. Tonally, they're just mind blowing. 699, so this is the Spruce. Look at that. Can you hear this kind of? Beautiful. Um, chime. Now you don't, you know, you can pick up guitars at twice this price. They don't sound like this. Three times the price. Something about a beautiful, and this is where you get the auditorium sound. And I could tell you about all the different body shapes, and there's so much to tell. But the story has to start somewhere. So why not just start with 699, my favourite body shape, the entry level 699, and and it's just it's just crazy, crazy, crazy. So let's just compare now this to the Cedar. So, and the great thing is I've been playing these two back to back and when you get great guitars, you just, um, you will just hear the, the, the differences that are, that you should hear, the, the, the kind of um, the quality of the wood and the quality of the build are without question. So you end up with really hearing those tonal signatures that we we kind of hear about. So, spruce, cedar. Same thing, I won't bore you to death with going over it, the whole thing, but absolutely the same kind of cos concept. Same kind of concept, same bindings, same headstock. But now we've got a cedar top, and uh, pretty much the same price, I think. Immediately smoother, dark, slightly darker sound. But I'm so I don't know. I love cedar. You hear that soft, slightly softer bottom end, and m much more kind of. Um, there's not that top end. Less of that top end. I play that same chord here. Yeah. yeah, get a slight bite. I could literally play this guitar all night. L literally, I could just sit here now and um, it's the kind of guitar effortless to play. And I just think I'm so in love with the whole backstory and the passion and the human side of the story of this, the human story. 
Um, so uh, yeah, I am I am in love with this product. Uh, maybe I have a man crush on Stan. <laughs> it's like I'm in love with this guy. Uh, it, like you know, uh, he's he's just a you know he's a he's, to me he's a, like a superhero out there just doing something that. How does he do this? How does how do you make that six nine nine? Um, when you see when you see some of the other guitars. Um, so these are the Pomona. Let me give you a quick summary because I will over you know over the coming weeks show you different guitars. And obviously, if you come to the showroom, we can uh, show you in person. The key with these things, though, they are for God's sake. Please bear this in mind. One of the reasons why I am um, am so concerned, almost or so scared of telling you about this, is they are handmade. They are completely handmade. So just like with the Ordens, we wait for months on end for them to come in. Um, and um, so we have some stock now. Great. But then there'll be a lull that you know we won't get any for a while, um, and 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 the Dolvinas will be a similar kind of thing. But I'll, I'll obviously try and keep a, a momentum and, and stock flowing. But it's very very hard to to pitch everything right to keep it all. Um, so so just to just to give you a bit of a summary, you've got the Pomona. All of these guitars are left-handed and right-handed, no extra charge. So you can have if you're a left-handed player, anything is available left-handed. So this is a great bonus too. Um, you you just basically say how what you want spruce cedar it gets done for you it gets made um, but the key the key models in the range we have the Pomona then we have the Sol the Sol is just magnificent it's um, uh, with the uh, walnut back and sides and when you see that I've got one going out to a customer and you've got to see that before it goes because it's just crazy. And again, I, I mentioned Sheeran earlier. This whole thing, when I stopped selling Sheeran guitars, you know, you've got to get this in context. When you see this guitar, this is an all solid wood, handmade guitar, made in the Loudon concept. There's no difference. These are no different. There's no, you know, I would say more Loudon than a Loudon because these guitars are made in the traditional small build way. You know, maybe, possibly, I don't know whether loud and even you know, you know, slightly higher numbers. I don't know. I, I don't presume they are, but um, but I know that they haven't got like four or five guys in the workshop, um, and you know, the, and 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 Stan going around the country, around the world, finding pieces of wood that suit. Stan sent me a photograph the other day of a piece of wood that I'm now having a guitar made out of. Uh, it's just the most ridiculous quality ebony. It was just, it was magnificent just off the scale so where I'm going with all this um, so yes 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 so 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 Loudon is one thing but Sheeran is like Sheeran's down there it's like a, it's a toy in comparison to the it's it's not even you can't even breathe the same breath you know and talk about these two guitars in the same it, it would have been impossible for me to sell those guitars in my shop because that 699 and that 699 the cheapest Sheeran guitar was I think 600 and something quid and it was just a toy in comparison, tonally. Um, so this is why I have to, you know, I'm, I'm still flicking back with my thoughts on, on the shearing thing. But um, so we've got the Sol, uh, about 800 quid for the Sol. Uh, Rosewood back and sides is the, um, um, the oh, I always forget names for everything, but it's the Rosewood back and sides is about 900, 900 pounds. And then we go into some real exciting stuff, and even the most exciting guitars. I haven't yet seen a guitar that they sell over two thousand pounds. They're all under two thousand pounds so far, and they've just been just mind blowing, utterly mind blowing. Um, so very, very exciting times, and um, hopefully you can make it to the showroom and have a look at them. And um, but but Rich, John mentioned a really interesting point. I'm sorry, I know I'm rambling. It's 14 minutes. I could have said this all a lot quicker, and I'm meant to be doing shorter videos, aren't I? But but John mentioned something uh, today, and I was talking to him about the Doviners, um, and I'm sure Doug won't mind me saying this. Doug from um, Orden Guitars, um, because. Um, I was chat I'm always very open in that, but I'm when talking to different people from different companies. Uh, and I said to Doug, I said, oh, I said, when I looked at that, so Doug, when, I'm talking to Doug now at Auden. I said to Doug, I said, oh, I said, when I, I saw that Dovener guitar, he was in the room when I saw it, I said, I didn't want to say how exciting it looked. I said, because I know you do Auden guitars and, and I love you and I love the guitars and I love everything you're doing. I said, but I, and he said something incredibly important, which is that, and this is, this is the sort of philosophy of the shop, 
on one level, on a pure business level, without these magnificent products for me to sell or to, to, to love, there would be no point in coming to my shop for me just to have an Auden or just to have a Fersh. You know, you, the fact that I've got an Eastman, a Fersh, an Auden, a Dovener now, means that, and this ties into what John was saying, John loves the Auden Dreadnought, for example. I love the Auden Chester. We now have these, but John still loves the Auden Chester. In terms of his dreadnought, it's not just dread, 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 Chester, it's Auden, um, oh, I'm sorry, the Auden dread, Dreadnought, uh, Colton. He's, he's got his eye on this Colton, and nothing is swaying him from that Colton because it's a different type of sound, just something slightly different that he, he sees in that. And what I'm seeing with these guitars, and then with the Audens and the Fersh and the Eastman, they all have their own tonal signatures, they all have their own neck profiles, and their own kind of um, people that they suit. Um, and someone put a really naughty message on uh, a video about the Ordens yesterday saying, okay, which one would you, which would you keep if you were on a desert island? Would it be a Dovener or, or an Orden? And I thought that was really mean because uh, I've got an Orden guitar at home and, uh, and I absolutely love it and I'm stuck glued to it. Um, and of course, these are just crazy. These are incredible. But my gut feeling is these are going to go up in price. I don't think these are going to be a long-term 699. I wouldn't be surprised if this was a kind of a, a foot in the door, get it, get people to know about the product. Um, so I'll see long-term where Dovina sit price-wise, because I think they could double in price and frankly be, you know, like still incredible guitars. So, um, yeah, life changes. We'll see, won't we? We'll see. But at the moment, it's just very exciting that we have such bloody brilliant acoustics around uh, that, that um, I think they could. Ex I think we've got something to excite anybody with any palette. Um, uh, so, okay, I'm 17 minutes now. I'm sorry. I'm just excited. Sorry. Okay, see you next time. If you got this far, well done. Well done. True hardcore. Um, please um, like the video if you do like the video and um, and um, if you're one of my several followers who just thumbs down my videos before you've even watched the video because I know there's several of you out there it's, it's great I just five minutes and I just oh yeah there it is uh, so yeah thanks for following and thanks for um, you know if you click and thumb down my videos it all adds to my uh, profile on YouTube so it all helps with the algorithm so thank you for subscribing because obviously you're subscribing because you you wouldn't know the video was there otherwise would you and uh, and thanks for interacting with the video which all helps so um, and to the true people nice people out there thank you thank you and uh, I will bring you more news shortly okay all right oh okay no I'll, I'll finish there bye <laughs> oh god I need to go and have a lie down bye bye